I am at Comic Con in Baltimore with creator and cartoonist Billy Tucci. How you doing? So we're gonna talk about the comic She. How did that you... She right there? This She. <laughs> How did you become interested in comic books? When I was a kid, um, I've been a fan since I think 1978. Um, uh, I bought. I went to the flea market with my friend and his and his dad took us and there was the giant size Spider-Man spectacular, I forget what it's called, but number 17 I think it was. And it had a band on the run homage cover on the front and on the back. And it was basically reprints of Spider-Man issues really large, but it had Werewolf by Night, uh, it had Ghost Rider, it had Iron Fist, and it, was, it, just, it just hooked me. So uh, that's how I became a fan. Then I really got into, um, the war comics, DC War Books, Our Army at War, Sergeant Rock, um, Weird War Tales, things like that is what I really love. And then I gravitated to you know Miller's Daredevil, which which changed my life. And uh, then I started getting better at art. <laughs> and the better I got at art in school, in high school, and all is the farther I came away from comics because I was like I was like being a Joe Kubert fan is that I could never do this I can't do this these guys are just I can never be like that so I kind of had a 10 year gap say and then I was oh, maybe not 10 maybe five six years and then I was in college and someone brought me Todd McFarlane's uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 300 with the Todd McFarlane cover and I saw inside that book and was blown away by how different it looked than the you know than the Joe Kubert the, the Walt Simonson uh, that it just had this incredible dy dy dynamics to it. It had, uh, you know, he played with anatomy, he played with perspective, and it really inspired me. I'm like, I could do this. So that's what made me want to become a comic book artist and writer. So what is she about, your comic? She, she's a modern day samurai story where she is a descendant of the Sohai, which was Sohei, which were the warrior monks of medieval Japan. Um, uh, many of them weren't monks at all, but they were rather samurai who just shaved their heads and were ordained priests, but they still had families and all. And uh, she is now a soldier drafted into this shadow war that's existed for 500 years. But instead of the, in the shadow of Mount Fuji, on the plains, you know, beneath the mountain, these armies now fight in boardrooms, you know, and in, in the arts and in politics, business, things like that, entertainment. So uh, it's called, you know, basically it's a shadow war. And uh, that's the story of she. So she was a draft in this war. She partook in this war for 10 years or so. And then she put it all away. She got married. She had a, a daughter. And her warrior days are far behind her. And now with the new series, the re she returned to the warrior we have. It's now, Anna's now in her mid 40s. She's a single mother raising her teenage daughter. And it all comes back. And what are the challenges of writing and illustrating? You know, it's it's. I've been very fortunate that, um, that uh, I've worked with other great artists and writers as well. Um, from the very beginning, I mean, a lot of issues I've written myself, uh, and what, mostly my mainstream work, I've written and drawn. Uh, I love the collab. I love collaborating with someone else. So, interestingly enough, for the she returned the warrior. My co-writer on the first issue, Steve Peros, um, who's a screenwriter out in Hollywood, he ended up writing the, the last two graphic novels. You know, we plot together, the story is, our, is ours together, but uh, that frees me up to be able to draw. Um, and it's, and I, he gets the character, I love his take on the character, and he's a very competent writer himself. Uh, he's a far better writer than me, I think. Um, and it's a, it's a wonderful, uh, we, we, we have a wonderful symmetry together, working alongside each other. And then I have Garden Neo Lima is my finisher. So what he does, it's almost like he's the inker, but without using inks, if you can. But but he's really, a, he, he too is a far better artist than I am. So I'm very lucky to do it. I do my breakdowns, I do the roughs, you know, tell the story, and then he goes in and does his magic. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I look forward to reading it. Yeah. And the website is BillyTucci.com. BillyTucci